Hello everyone, welcome back. Today, I got super excited when I found out when 2.2 now supports both the first and last frame for image to video workflows. And of course, I had to test it myself. And honestly, the accuracy really surprised me. And the best part? You don't even need a new model. Just update your Comfy UI and use your existing model from the I2B section. It works right out of the box. So once you open the workflow, the main update is inside the when first last frame to video section. Now there are two load images one for the first frame and one for the last frame just upload your starting image in the first node and your ending image in the second i also added a ggf support node in the model loader section so if you want to use a ggf model instead of safe tensors you can easily switch by toggling the node no extra setup needed To switch to GGUF, just bypass the active safe tensors and bypass the unit loader GGUF node. You will do the same with the load clip section, bypass the default one and activate the GGUF version. GGUF models are available in quantization levels from Q2 to Q8. The lower the Q value, the less VRAM it needs. For example, Q5 can run on systems with just 3 to 4 GB of VRAM, especially if you configure offloading properly. And just save the GGUF file into your Comfy UI's model diffusion model folder, and you are good to go. Creating a workflow from scratch can take a lot of time. Trust me, I have spent hours just connecting nodes and debugging weird issues. That's exactly why I put together a free download to save you time. Just head over to aistudynow.com. Every post has a free workflow download section. All you need to do is enter your email address. You will receive a verification email in your inbox. I know it can be a little frustrating but it's only once. Once you verify, you won't have to do it again. And from that point on, you will be able to download any workflow instantly whenever you visit aistudynow.com and if you don't receive the verification email feel free to reach out to us i'll be happy to verify your email manually and here is the best part if you don't want to connect with us you can unsubscribe anytime just one click so once everything's set up let's test the workflow in Comfy UI. So before running the workflow, make sure to update Comfy UI. If you skip this step, you will likely run into a clip vision error. That's why updating is absolutely essential for this to work properly. Alright. First test. I tried this workflow for an e-commerce style scene and here my prompt was a young supermodel walks confidently through a shopping mall. Carrying a handbag in one hand, she moves forward while the camera follows every step. So here for the first frame, I used a close up shot of the model's face and for the last frame, I used a full body image. The idea was to simulate 
how a camera tracks her as she walks starting tight and pulling out to show the full outfit and the resolution is set to match the images 584 by 880 pixels so let's hit run and test the result and the result honestly it blew me away the camera angle her walk through the mall even the handbag it all matched the input images perfectly there were no glitches but the movement felt a bit too fast at 24 fps so i changed the frame rate to 16 and that gave me a 7 second video instead of 5 and now the motion looks smooth and natural so if the output looks a little blurry you can always upscale it using the video to video upscaler i have already made a t- tutorial on that check the link in the description if you want to clean up your result next i generated a video of a boy holding axes in both hands he lifts the axes starts running and smiles it looks great after about 3 seconds snow starts flying under his feet which was a nice added effect by the ai so i tested this scene twice once using fp16 without a weight d type fp8 and once with weight d type set to fp8 and interestingly the fp8 version didn't include the snow effect but otherwise both generations looked very similar in terms of motion and quality so I also tried running this using the 5B model but right now it's not supported so let's stick to the current workflow If you are working with low VRAM you can reduce the resolution to 640 by 640 set the frame count to 81 and use 16 fps that gives you around a 5 second video but in my test the result wasn't as smooth as or sharp as before so i switched back to 24 fps with 121 frames and instantly the motion looked much better the boy running with excess the snow flying under his feet it finally matched the prompt beautifully now i am curious what happens if we add a lora and generate it in just four steps at full 1024 by 1024 resolution so let's run that test next and the result honestly it didn't look as good as the one without lura but you can definitely test it yourself and see how it works for your style or setup so that's all for today's video if you found this helpful feel free to like subscribe and hit the bell button for more tutorials like this thanks for watching see you in the next one bye bye